fire up, Linmar. This is a special homecoming edition of LNTV News. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Wednesday, October 7, 2009. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, the first step is taken for the new stadium. If all goes as planned, this will be the final season at Armstrong Field Home Lion. Ellen TV's Jeff has that story. Jeff? The construction con contract has been awarded for a brand new, much drier stadium, along with a much bigger north parking lot. According to the Cedar Rapids Gazette, the board approved an $8.3 million contract with Knutson Construction. The new stadium will have 4,000 home site seats and 1,000 seats for visitors. Once the agreement with the contractor is completely finalized, construction should begin very soon. We'll keep you posted. Mick, back to you. Thanks, Jeff. In other news, students interested in traveling to England and France on the British-lit European history tour during the summer of 2011 must attend a meeting on Monday night at 6 in Mr. Hansen's room. If you cannot attend the meeting or like more information, see Ms. Kelly before the meeting. Now Anne joins us with today's homecoming update. Anne? The homecoming parade is tomorrow night, starting at 5, from Indian Creek Elementary. The coronation of the homecoming king and queen will be held at Armstrong Field following the parade. In, cases, in case of rain, the ceremony will be moved to the main gym. The homecoming dance is Saturday night from 8 to 11 in the main gym. Cost is $15 per couple or $10 for singles. Tickets will be available today after school and tomorrow before school in Mrs. Brady's room, B005. You don't have to purchase your tickets early. You can buy them at the door. But remember, you and your date must have a photo ID or school ID to get into the dance. Read Photography will be at the dance taking pictures at starting at 5. Prices are posted in the Student Council display case at the Four Corners. That's your homecoming update. Mick, back to you. Gracias, Anne. As you can see, today is Color Day, tomorrow is Superhero Day, and Friday is Red and Black Spirit Day. We will be back with more on LMTV News right after this. 25th Anniversary Hot Dog Fundraiser by the Linmar Foundation is this Thursday night, right after the Homecoming Parade. Come to the Booster Club concession stand at Armstrong Field, and for the low price of $2.50, you get a jumbo hot dog! Then finish it off with purchases of candy, pop, and popcorn from the Booster Club. What a great way to enjoy the evening as you watch the crowning of the Homecoming King and Queen and the Powder Puff Game! That's Thursday night, and I will see you there! Show your school spirit and support the football team by wearing a homecoming button. Creators Who Care made two different button designs, and they are only $2 each. They are only on sale Friday morning before school in the Four Corners, so come and get yours. Welcome back. Those students who have missed Shiga for AP English need to stop by and see here in the room C118 before the end of the quarter. We have a new CORDS alert. Any students interested in earning CORDS hours working at the girls basketball tournament October 24th and 25th, see Ms. Pache in room 159. Now Kayla joins us with this morning sports. Kayla? On the scoreboard, boys golf is going to state. They came in second at districts yesterday in Iowa City. State golf is being played this weekend at the Davenport Country Club. Congratulations, guys. In other sports news, Carolyn Newhouse has been nominated as KCRG Athlete of the Week. To vote for Carolyn, go to kcrg.com and click on Athlete of the Week. Hurry, the voting ends tomorrow at 10. Also, girls swimming beat Washington 105-81. to Volleyball lost to Washington 2-3. to If you are being recognized at senior night, during the October 16th football game, your information sheet needs to be turned into the athletic office by Friday. All wrestlers will meet Monday morning at 8.15 in the Upper Commons. If you cannot make the meeting, see Coach Stryker in the boys' PE locker room. That's sports. Back to you. Thanks, Kalo. In news from the counseling office, representatives from Northwestern and Iowa Wesleyan will be here at 10.30. 
Take a look at your second quarter schedule. If it looks like you're in need of a counselor to fix what you see, stop by and make, make an appointment today. The Rotary, Rotary Club has two scholarships for in, students interested in an international exchange program. See Mr. Kennedy today for more information. For more information on these stories, stop by the counseling office or check out their website. Now, Pat joins us with a look at arts and clubs. Thank you. On the Lamar Club arts and club scene, Matt team will meet today after school in room F-157. Please let Mrs. Masson know today if you are attending Mount Mercy, meet on Thursday, October 15th. Spectrum meets immediately after school today. They will be completing the display for GLBT History Month and will be making plans for Ally Week. It's never too late to join. See you there. There's an NHS meeting Tuesday morning at 8.15 in the Little Theater. All current members are expected to attend. See Ms. Shika with questions. There will not be a trap shooting tomorrow due to the, all the homecoming activities. FFA members, see Ms. Lemmer today for more details on today's Green Hand Fire Up Leadership Camp at Wapsie Valley High School, Thursday's District Soil Contest at Hawkeye Community College, and the homecoming float. Attention Tri-Students, the Lean On Me roster is posted outside Kevin McCulley's office. If you have any questions, see Mr. McCulley. That's your club update, Mick. Rawr. Thanks, Pat. Now, Kayla takes our first look at lunch. Kayla. It's a meatball sandwich, a tossed lettuce salad, and applesauce. The other line will offer the burrito bar. The food court opens the pasta bar. That's lunch. Back to you. Thanks, Kayla. We should see a decent day. Your LMTV forecast calls for sunny skies with a high of 62. Tonight, there's a chance of showers with a low of 45. And tomorrow, rain with a high of 57. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day.